buy a vowel. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Welcome back to Access Live. Maggie Wheeler, famous for Janice White right there on Friends, came in to help us kick off our 90s month. Thanks for coming in to surprise us. Thanks for having wow. me. It was so, so much fun. I was always a surprise on Friends, so this felt like old home week. Well, you know, they, was, they always snuck me in at the last minute. So. Uh, yeah, as we said in the piece there, you were only supposed to be on one episode, but you're such a scene stealer. They're, what do they do? They just said, let's just keep bringing her back. Yeah. I mean, you know, they opened the door, and that scene, I think that episode was a big success, and obviously Janice made people happy, and so uh, it just, they just kept bringing me back and bringing me back. You know, who knew when I set out to do that first episode that that would happen, but it was the greatest, Amazing. you know, blessing. The voice, your idea <laughs> or the producer's idea with the My laugh? My idea. <laughs> I saw the audition, and I'm like, I think I know that girl. I think I've met her a million times, and so that's what I did. Keep it going! <laughs> Should we just do the whole thing yeah, like this? Yeah, Is like it better? The, and the laugh. You gotta do the laugh here. <laughs> Give me a Chandler Bingaling. Oh, Bingaling, you love me. You just don't know you love me. That's... I love it. Do you? I mean, people have to constantly recognize you. I mean, you you can't go anywhere without people being like, oh, "There's Janice." Yeah, right? you know, sometimes it takes them a minute because I, you know, if I'm not decked out in leopard and uh, uh, you know, with with the hair and the nails and the jewelry and the whatever, but then you know, people get it. After a while, they do figure it all out. It's so Who good. Who were you closest to on the Friends cast just in real life? You know, they were great to me. I was there at the very beginning. It was, you know, sort of the humble beginnings of the show. Yeah. Everybody hung out and played poker in the green room, and it was very congenial, Fun. and we all hung out together, and we had a great time, and I love them all. I love them all. It was just a fantastic cast to work with, phenomenal writers and producers. The environment on the set was like none other, and... Uh, it was a blast. Favorite it, it was memory? as much fun as it looks. Do you have a favorite episode even? Mm, I know mm, it's like choosing mm. your baby. I kind of have two or three. So I mean, I happen to love the Valentine's episode where she says, I've cut all your, your heads out of all the pictures. Maybe you want to use them in your <laughs> theater of cruelty, as like puppets in your theater of cruelty. I mean, I don't remember the exact line, but essentially that's what she's talking about. And I just love that idea that he, you know, that she thought he could use uh, the, his heads as uh, puppets. Um, and I, uh, and ha getting to say 15 Yemen Road Yemen, <laughs> when he's yeah, when that, he's like that was awesome. Um, there's a great thing that happened when, when in the episode where I sleep with Ross and nobody knows what's going on. They're like, he hooked up, he hooked up, and they're just trying to figure out what's going on. And I walk in. That was a huge reveal, and the audience mm. went nuts for a very, very, very long time, so long that we started to lose it. And I, you can see that I take the scarf that I'm returning to Ross, and I put it uh, up to my face because I, did, I just... I could barely hold on anymore. With those the are the moments, yeah, right? Right, because yeah. it's Super a live fun. studio audience there. So you're right. Super yeah. Fun. yeah. No social media back then. I can only imagine what that would have been like. Oh my gosh, you hooking up with Ross would have been a whole <laughs> thing everywhere. everywhere. That's headline news. It is <laughs> neat to think about back with the poker and all of that because it literally made everybody yeah. huge stars. And it was neat to even look back at these clips and see them sort of they're starting out like that. And yeah. I feel like you were part of this whole journey. What are you doing now? I'm many, many things. Uh, for, for 14 years and, and continuing on forever, I direct a large non-auditioned community choir in Los Angeles nice. called the Golden Bridge uh, Choir. It Amazing. is a phenomenal experience and really something I'm truly passionate about. Uh, I have a co-director, Emil Hassan Dyer. We work together, and um, and so we, have 100, we have a hundred yeah. singers in in the choir this session, and it's intergenerational and non-auditioned. And so that is something I'm really passionate about. And I travel and teach that work too, a cappella vocal music for everybody, so that people can experience the healing and the community that comes when you sing together, which in our mm -hmm. culture is not available to everybody. It's sort That's of so separated true. by the excellent and the non-excellent, the professionals and the non-professionals. So we throw all that out. Baby with the bathwater, and we uh, we teach in the oral tradition, no sheet music. Everybody can come and, and join in and have that experience. Yeah. That's um, something I do a, a lot with. And I have a new short film that's traveling the short film circuit called Holiday Hostage that's winning a lot of awards. It's about Congrats. a Jewish family uh, that gets hostage, held hostage on Thanksgiving. Very, very funny. <laughs> um, I play a very over overbearing Jewish mother, and David Storch and Abby Walla wrote it and produced it, and, and they play my children, and D.W. Moffat directed. It's a fantastic film. We're very excited about it. Uh, 
I just did the uh, character on Captain Underpants for Netflix. Wow. Super, super fun. I started in animation when I was quite young in New York and worked for Rankin Bass for many years doing character voices. So uh -huh. animation is my first love, and I just did, did some voices in a new big animated feature that I'm very excited about, but I don't know if I can talk about it, so let's just say it's out there. Well, so you're, everywhere you're, you're busy. It you're I'm busy, busy, busy. honey. I try to stay busy. <laughs> we've, t we've talked to a lot of the cast, and we've all asked them, would they be down for a reboot? What do you think? Can we get this thing happening? Should it happen? Um, Would you do it? If you put me in charge, we'll get it done. <laughs> <laughs>